It's still April 29th, 2024. Told you yesterday on the strip, the police are not behind you anymore. One cop was already going after some guy saying that he listened to the recorded line and uh, that agent had a dozen men that he told on me before. He did talk to her like that. He's on the phone with some as I go to walk in on Walmart on the strip in North Canton. They better be taking care of this. One officer in uniform. We all know no one drugs anybody. It was a drug cartel doing it to her before. I don't know how that guy listened to that recorded line. If you have to log into the case, turn it into the police. You won't be in drama. They want to know how they got hacked. They want to lead it back to them. Give them your access. Because everybody's heard it. Where they had it on Google, the M13 was live streaming um, protected custody case. They had hacked into the government. They want to get them. <sighs> okay. And then that guy over, I was, we were grocery shopping over by the lady's clothing. I was on the phone with that Kurt that they made fun of in 2001. Um, the Star County Sheriff's uh, for falling for this and called him slow. He was on the, he's been telling people that none of this is funny. They made everything up on me. He was telling some guy, Kurt, she really never hurt anyone. They made everything up on her. They, and none of this is funny. They have that agent taped admitting that he told on her before. And then they have him taped admitting, um, uh, or December 14th, 23, 4.45 p.m. He walks out of McDonald's. They said that was an agent over my case. Confessing he stole my money and was in it one day. Screaming out and all kinds of undercover police slam on the brakes. They said Officer Mark has his confession that none of this is funny. The agent over my case confessed he was in it one day and stole my money. That And that Kurt was telling that guy that the police already got him taped. Where he met it on a record a line. That he told on me before. And then they have him confessing he was in it with David and stole my money. He stole $330,000. And like Sheriff David told me, if he stole your money, he stole others. He's too arrogant. And then the icing on the cake, Pam walking with her granddaughter. Uncle Dave said he had someone taper before. And blah, 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 and act like she had talked to Will and all kinds of stuff. I go to leave and women went, that family was already linked to the following Randy. And now she's, it took her long enough to confess. She was in it with Dave with those stocking tapes. And other people, she actually confessed. She was in it with Dave with those stocking Other people, if Karen's kids ever put anything in those stocking tapes where they admitted they drugged me and told me to say it before photoshopping it and I was covered in bruises, throwing up, heart racing, severely personal infection, never see anybody, never talk to anybody. They were part of having me drug beat and rape. They need to have them, they need to uh, go to jail for it. Absolutely. So human traffickers, they dismembered my coworker Lori's family member and laughed in her face how they killed her while she was alive. And they took my house manager's niece. It's the Florida Human Traffickers. That's who they are. And what was it? 2020. I got a job. I went to work up in Bedford at this title place. Apostolic Church of Burton followed me up there. Pam was with them. And they were yelling stuff and harassing me and following me clear up into Bedford. 40 miles away from where I lived. People were saying that Dave was actually dating her daughter, Savannah. And they were gold digging. They called him gold digger. They just want her house and jewelry. And that family's just gold digging. Mm -hmm.
investigators call them gold diggers. They're so pathetic they'll have somebody stalk, drug, beat, and raped and almost murder for the pathetic daughter. Well, she went on to marry somebody else, and then they all scattered. Big, like they said, it's a big extortion ring. Run around drug beat and raping people. Photo shopping scenes where Dave said he hired Pete on his own, Pete's Alex in a beard. Framing the judges up there in the law enforcement with the drug cartel. Why do you think he's in Japan? You don't think the feds will go get him? June 7th, 23, they made fun of FBI agent John in Walmart 62, how they pulled him. Publicly mocked him. July 9th, 23, they dared the FBI to fix it. They have confessed since 18. They photoshopped everything, made up everything, photoshopped all their lives, and publicly mocked everybody. 18 and 19. That's where December 9, 21, White Man Bob with Archives distributing through the Star County Hunger Task Force on 9th Street came out. We always knew the tapes before with them and not her, so we never said a word. Same day, they told Ed at the Oakland apartment everything was drugged and photoshopped, and it's just a bunch of men doing crimes down here. That's where they told my client and um, the bar the same thing. Our next door neighbor at the White House before her. That's where an African American lady, November 1st to 3rd of 21, was telling people in Sable Lot the same thing. That's where May 25th, 21, 8, 9, 21, uh, January 19th, 22, February 2nd, 22, of being drugged and told to say it before. The shower scene in the other room, Mar May 20, uh, what was that? May 12th, 22, May 26, 22, the shower scene uh, done on purpose to make you look weird. Uh, Photoshop, March 1st to 3rd of 21, they were putting clips together, put her in a porn, it's not her. But them and what you're describing as showering, she figured out what they did. Laughing at me in 21 again. They made a frame in me March 24th, 22, 1, 1, 30. Please have all the compassions. August, what was it, 22nd of 23, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Officer Mark told the lady that I was framed by the drug cartel. It's documented and verified. They bragged. Uh, up in Akron in September of last year, some lady said, you know, some of the drug dealers, they hired a watcher. They don't even find this funny anymore. She do anything wrong? No. The drug dealers already confessed everything was them and not her. And they made fun of the FBI for falling for it. Are they going to do anything about it? We don't know. Ask her ex-husband if they ever said it was a medication error that made her sick before. He said yes. And they did encourage him to sue him for years. And he let all those people hurt her and didn't say a word. None of this is funny. Yeah, she told Akron. She do anything wrong? No. The drug dealers already confessed it was all them. They made fun of the FBI for going for it. They've made fun of them in several places. And all these idiot people. June 30th, 23, they went to a party and these people were allowed of the life of the party. How they made fools out of all these people for falling for date rape, drug confessions, and photoshopping and washing. January 19th said it was a feminine white paper of the toilet in the other room. They admitted they photoshopped all their lives. It's a big extortion group. I'm going to upload this.